king in the flesh I made my throne where I sit I got the heart of a killer The mind of a menace May all my enemies perish Live now and hope we forgive it um, I'm Kane uh, you might see it K V N X X Y. Don't don't ask. Like art people, they, we don't have any justification why we do things. Sometimes we just do it. Um, I'd say I'm a artist and producer based here out of Las Vegas. Uh, I'm tend to prefer to myself as a creative architect because me as an artist, that's not who I am. That's what I do. Um, I wasn't born to be an artist. I wasn't born to be an artist. I truly believe our, our purpose in life is to impact one another. You know, naturally we were created, so naturally we're creatives, you know, and the world offers these different things, so one would be a fool to not want to explore. A lot of it's spontaneous. I zone out a lot. Like, if you follow me during the day, I'm like blocked out. Like, I'm just staring in the space. God created Earth. We were made in his image therefore i was born to create like we come from the ultimate creator so how can we not create sometimes i go long stretches but i don't do anything you know i try not to force it you know i've learned when i try to force something it doesn't come out to what it should be uh, and just let it happen naturally i mean when, when you let it happen naturally that's when you get your true self out and that's when that shines through your work um and then sometimes i go through spurts where it's like non-stop every day I'm cranking out stuff and ideas just coming, 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 and then just dies again. So I, just, I don't force it, I just, it just comes. So there isn't any set formula or um, script to how I go about creating, it just, it just is. You know? A lot of my inspiration always goes back to the younger generations as well. It's a lot of stuff that I didn't get as a kid. A lot of this art stuff and whatnot, I, I discovered on my own. Like no one never nurtured me. My whole life growing up, it was sports, 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 sports. That was what I knew. That's what my family knew. No one ever really dove into anything different. And I know that, you know, maybe I can help these kids really learn something else. You know, there's so much more to life than what's usually presented to us in our youth. And you know, hopefully, I can be a pillar to open it up to someone. Well, the first one that I owned, not really realizing what it was, was The Brat. Her first album, uh, Functified, and my, me and my dad used to always go to the record store. Right, that's one thing I do remember. My dad, anytime a new CD or tape came out, we ran the record store. And I remember hearing, I think you probably just remember seeing like the videos and stuff of The Brat. And I just like, Dad, can I have this? And I had to be all of six years old, six or seven, and my dad didn't know. First thing you pop it in, mother f this mother shit. Didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like he did not know like what was happening, and you know, that that was my first experience with actually buying music. And the next big one that I can really think of uh, was Puff Daddy and Mace. Can't nobody hold me down. I remember as a kid just watching that video, like one of the coolest guys in the world. Like, but it just something the way Puffy did. When you saw Puffy on TV, you're like, oh. A lot of times, I know for myself, I've gotten in my way. A lot of times, you know, life could have been a lot easier, a lot smoother if I would just said, "Yo, chill out, bro. Go sit down somewhere, calm down, go focus on what you need to be doing right now, and to continue to, to strive for, continue to dream. Don't ever let anything or anyone kill your, kill your dreams at all." Hip hop told our story, and I channeled it into a song. Um, and it's crazy. I had a, I had a beat for like two years. Couldn't I couldn't figure out what to do with it. I couldn't give it away. And that's why I, I tried to use it in like an instrumental tape one time and something. Even like you know, just just take it back. Like, it's just a, such a dope beat. Just take it. Just, just do something with it. And even when I got it, I couldn't think of anything. And I went through a really like depressed state. Like really depressed state. Like no one knew, but my girlfriend now wife, but. No one knew, like she would get the blunt of every night, like just complaining and crying about stuff and like, man, like just being depressed. And one day, dude, I just played the song. And I was like, you know, let me just see if I can just talk about it. And literally in 30 minutes, the whole song was done. Like 30 minutes, I just wrote. And after that, you just felt the weight just go. Just like, wow. Like that fast, the music allowed, it just took it away. Hip hop is it's, it's always had me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
slate of this shit. I give my blood and my soul, I'm just as real as it gets. And I'm a king in the flesh.